Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. Today we're having a look at the first episode of our swing fault series and how to help you correct those and we're looking at a flying right elbow. So let's go and have a look at how we're going to get that improved with some more game changing golf coaching. So with today's video tip, we're going to have a look at how to improve a flying right elbow. Now, if you're a right-handed golfer and you are told you've got a flying right elbow, all that's happening is that as you're swinging the club back, you're seeing your right elbow pull back into this kind of position here. So if we do this from uh, down the line on this camera as well, you're seeing the right elbow pull back into this position here. And ideally where we want to get that uh, arm is more here. So we need to get a different uh, rotation into that right shoulder. And if we just do that just with one hand on the club and without the left hand on, effectively what's happening is that you're pulling the club back and being quite dominant with with the right arm so you're pulling the club back the seam on my jumper isn't rotating round with my arm i'm pulling my elbow back and sort of pointing my elbow up at the sky before i get the club up to the top there and that's going to mean that my arms and my body get disconnected and it's going to make it very awkward on the downswing now don't get me wrong there are uh, some players who do that uh, and play on tour with that and are very successful and are major winners but it won't help you with the position you'll get into at the top and also when you do get to the top if you've got that flying right elbow there we'll tend to see that you've got a cupped wrist and so the club face is open and it's making it very difficult for you to um, make uh, an optimal downswing so you're not going to be as powerful as you could be the arms are getting very uh, dominant you're not turning the body as well as you could and keeping the body and the arms connected and you're going to be opening that club face up so we're always fighting having that open club face position we want to achieve more at the top so if we swing back if we're keeping the body and the arms connected and we're learning what this right elbow needs to do is we want to see more of this position at the top so we've got the, the elbow more directly under the right hand. We've rotated the shoulder rather than pulling back and hunching the shoulder up. So we're in a much better position there. Again, if I just do this down the line, so you can see from this camera here. So we want to see more of this kind of position with that right hand. And, you know, to, um, sort of traditionally, uh, you may read in older instruction manuals that when you get to the top of the swing that you want to have your right hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, in a position where you feel a bit like a waiter holding a tray walking through uh, a restaurant. So you've got this kind of position in the right arm. We've got the right elbow under the right hand, the right palm up to the sky and you've rotated your body round to get into that position. So two good tips here to help you with that, just to learn that feeling. First of all, if you, hold, if you address the ball and then just hold the club with the right hand only and just hold left hand around the outside of that right bicep, just above the elbow there. So when you swing back, as you swing back, you don't want to let that arm pull away. So with your left arm, you're wanting to work on pulling uh, towards the ball with the left arm and then that will help you to rotate the body and get the rotation into that right shoulder that we need so you could just do that a few times just to get the feeling of what that position is like other thing you can do as well if you took a resistance band so you need a complete loop if you put left arm completely through the band and then put it over and around the back of you there okay and then what we're going to do with the other end of the band is if you just pull it so that it comes up between your body and your arm we're going to wrap it round over that elbow back round and then you can hook your thumb into it there and then that will also help you to to get a more connected feeling between that right arm and the body as you swing back so as you swing back you should be able to feel that that uh, resistance band is helping to keep the elbow in place because you have to work against the resistance band so you can feel where you need to be 
uh, at the top of the swing. Again, you can swing and hit with this on if it helps you just to get that connection between uh, the body and the arms as you swing through. But that'll certainly help you improve that uh, issue of that flying right elbow. If it is causing you problems and you need to get that more under control, get that shoulder in a, a better rotated position, see a better position in the right forearm, the right hand and the right uh, elbow as you swing and hit your golf shots. So have a go at that the next time that you're working on the swing, but it will help you to hit much further golf shots and approach the ball at a much better angle so strike will improve as will directional control. It's another game-changing golf tip.